Hello, Swaggy people! My name is Betty Bitchy, welcome back and welcome back to the channel and also welcome back to the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood! I will put the content warnings on the screen uh, right now, but if you don't want to read them here, they are also the first thing in the uh, description box down below, so you can also check them out over there! Beautiful! And with that, let's hop right into the game. So last time we handled our new spider bestie, which I love, I love her design, she is so fucking stunning! I I love that. But I also said that I would start out with a new card and that is exactly what I'll do. So let's have our little witchy bestie head down here so that we can get it started. We have collected quite a lot of points so you know I think we should uh, work on a new card. Hmm. Maybe we should do something with water because we do have a lot of water points and maybe also earth. Is there a water earth? 100 column worship. Let's take that one. Okay, what else? Definitely something with water. Something water. How is that water? How is the door water? This design is so ugly, I don't want it. Uh, this one. Avian Dancer. Door. We'll just take that one and then maybe still water? That weird scepter looking thing with the what's that one with a long tongue <laughs> like what what is that thing on the left i don't know what else do we have this one do we have water and earth we have this one as well tower shield <laughs> i think i do want to take this blue this other blue one though they said only makes traders bleed there's only one and has been lost since they used it in the trial that got adana expelled from her former coven I want to see her burn. <laughs> I really do. All right, and as usual, I will now uh, have a little uh, speedboat right here, and I will talk to you again once I finish this card, so enjoy that. Okay, okay, and here we are. I have to say, you know what this card proves? That I don't know how wings look like. 
But nonetheless, I think it's a pretty card. It's called Dancing in the Dark, card legends. Consciousness of the many selves. The dancer rises the spirits, a gift of joy. The unique beauty of the avian access untapped emotions. What? The unique beauty of the avian access untapped emotions? You know what, whatever. Oh, accesses. <laughs> <laughs> the unique beauty of the avian access is untapped emotions. The trident pierces through magic and makes it bleed emotion. Meanings, support, success, communication, peace, happiness, yearning, and passion. Uh, let's fucking go. I'm pretty happy with that one. And now we can finally tackle our breasty up here. Let's see what we got. Ew. <gasps> let's read. Hey Fortuna, how did it go with Greta? I come up with some of my own ideas on how to help her, but I could use your input. Let me know when I can visit Dahlia. And we have down here, oh Jasmine, right. Dear Fortuna, thank you so much for helping my friend Louise. I hope she didn't bother you. I would have never imagined she'd do something as bold as contacting you directly. I'd love to know how it went between you two. Can I come over, your friend Jasmine? I think Jasmine... She was just here. I think we need to we need to talk to Dahlia, our bestie. I just now noticed that she's riding on a sword. Come on, how cool can you get? <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Hey, a forts. Forts. <laughs> Don't ever fucking call me forts. It sounds like a child saying farts. Damn. Hey, Dahlia. I know it's been two centuries, but I still don't like the, <laughs> the abbreviations of my name. That's what I said. It sounds like fart. Oh shoot, I thought forts would work. We've been through this too many times. I don't like forts. I don't like 40, and I especially don't like tuna. <laughs> Honestly, tuna kind of rocks. But tuna is so cute. That's what I said, Dahlia. That's what I said. Not funny. <laughs> okay, okay. So, you found a way to help Greta? Right. I've been researching some exorcism methods. And I found some censored texts. They don't mention behemoths explicitly, but they might be the perfect solution for this case. There is a way to quite literally sever extra-dimensional beings from a witch. <laughs> oh, yeah? How? With an enchanted blade. <laughs> Are you gonna fucking cut half of Greta's head off? Don't know if that's necessarily the best solution, but okay. I'm going to forge a daemon bone dagger to cut that bastard down. That sounds dangerous. I know, I know my, my way around knives. Trust, trust me. You're right. You're right. And you mentioned you need my help with this? That's correct. For the ritual to be most effective, I need to imbue the dagger with an essence kindred to Greta. And I was wondering, since you put her through your wonderful deck, maybe you could point me to the proper energy. But wouldn't you know best? You've known Greta way longer than I have. I know, but, but I can't wrap my head around her. She's so self-absorbed, always focused on her projects. I realized I can't really tell. You don't need to disclose any sensitive information to me, but I've experienced firsthand how oh, incisive mm -hmm. your divination can be. You did read the cards for her, right? Yes. Perfect. Your guess should be better than mine, then. What energy should I imbue in the dagger with? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck. This is gonna be one that... Oh no. This is going to influence everything, isn't it? Oh, ow, 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 my head. Um, honestly, she does, she is determined to find the truth about philosophy while feeling dread and it's very individual of her and she is into architecture. Well... My fucking god. Okay, let me think. Let me thinking, thunkening. Honestly, I don't know. She's not really after the truth. It's not really part of her thing. It's more of like m meaning, right? So I think <sighs> philosophy. Ooh, that sounds right. I'm way too simple to come up with such an essence. Girl boss, I don't know. I'm dumb. You could all be wrong. I just guessed. I'm more about fear and strength and joy. Okay, Dahlia. I wouldn't even have considered philosophy to be a type of essence to begin with. All right, I'll smith the most impressive dagger. Just you wait, Greta. And she's gone already. She's gone. <laughs> wow, goodbye, Dahlia. Okay.
<laughs> so do okay, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? I guess we can uh, invite a baby over here then. Let's go, Jasmine. Hello. Welcome. Hello, Fortuna. How are you doing? Fine, I guess. Happy to see you. Uh, it feels so good to be able to meet again like this. I only wish I could get to see your garden again. It must be beautiful after all this time. I'm pretty proud of it. In due time, I'll be happy to show you everything. Until then, I brought you this. It's a blue iris. This is beautiful, thank you. This flower is a bringer of hope. A charm for faith, wisdom and understanding. I thought it improved the energy of the room and help you with your fortune telling. Oh, it's next to the window, that's so cute. I love it, thank you so much. So. Louise came to visit you. That's right. I'm so sorry. I should have consulted with you before telling anyone. I just wanted to share the joy of having my friend back. I didn't expect her to come and see you out of the blue. It's all right. Don't worry about it. She seems like a nice girl. She is a very gentle soul. I hope you were able to help her. She's in a pretty delicate situation, to be honest. Oh, is she in trouble? What's going on with Louise? Where? <laughs> Hmm, I do enjoy the gossip. No, she's her bestie, I'm gonna do that. Adana's, Adana's forcing, forcing her to start war on Earth. Come again? They found a way to harvest a powerful energy to create weapons against behemoths. And the fastest way to produce this energy seems to be spreading war amongst mortals. This is terrible! I've always trusted Adana's judgment, given her godly and intellect. But this is making it really hard for me to follow her blindly. I don't think I'll ever be able to trust our leader again, to be honest. That is completely understandable. If anything happens, I will always be on your side. You know that, right? Thank you. Ah, uh, Louise must be having a hard time. You should check up on her. Sure, don't worry about me. Go. Thank you so much for helping my friend, Fortuna. See you soon. Ah, uh, actually, wait a minute. Hmm? What is it? I need some herbs to help a friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> to help a friend witch. To help a witch friend. Greta. Oh! You've met Greta the architect? Dahlia's friend? She's never got time for me. Now I'm jealous. Ah, uh, it was a business visit. She seems like a very busy witch. And what does the fabulous Greta need from me? That she doesn't even have time to ask for me. <laughs> Damn. And what does the fabulous Greta need from me? That she doesn't even have time to come. Oh, what is the sentence? And what does the fabulous Greta need from me that she doesn't even have time to ask me for in person? Jesus. Oh my. You're actually jealous. She's not the one asking anyway. I'm asking you, as my friend, to help me help her. Okay, okay. Anything for you. What are these herbs for? I don't think I should put that out. <laughs> I don't think I should tell her about that one because I think she's still too close to Adana, you know, she's still very close and I wouldn't want to... No, something to ease her mind. Is she stressed or... She's really anxious about a personal problem. I'm looking for a way to heal her. But whatever ritual we attempt, it would help to have her relaxed. I see. Well, that's a pretty common ailment, a distressed mind. I have something on me that might help. Oh? Bacopa monieri, whatever the fuck that is, mixed with chamomile. Infuse it with a bit of lemon or honey and have Greta drink, drink it while she thinks about a toy she... What the fuck? <laughs> Infuse it with a bit of lemon or honey and have Greta drink it while she thinks about a toy she loved back when she was a mortal kid. I've never seen it fail. Thank you so much, Jasmine. This is exactly what I needed. You're welcome. And maybe Greta will dine, dane, whatever, to thank me in person next time? <laughs> Do you have some herbs against jealousy? It's for a friend of mine. Shut up! Okay, I must go now. Thanks again. Goodbye! Oh, goodbye, baby, goodbye! Now I need to check the time, that was really quickly. Oh yeah, we do. We can do whoever that friend is, absolutely. Hello, friend. <gasps> is that... that's... Oh, yes. <laughs> it's 
my girl! Dear Fortuna, Dahlia has given me a magic dagger to perform an exorcism. Have you found anything else? Is it alright if I come over so that we can try the ritual together? Hugs, Greta. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, you want to perform that right now? In my living room? Hey, how are you feeling? Hmm, corrupted? <laughs> The behemoth is beginning to taint my thoughts, and I don't like how powerful it feels. You still want to see this through, or...? Of course I want to. I'm way too proud to let this extra-dimensional asshole take all the credit. Oh, yeah, I feel you. Okay, what did you find? Let's use everything in our arsenal. The ritual will mainly revolve around Dahlia's demon bone... Daemon bone, whatever, dagger. It truly is a work of art. Here, look. It is a bone. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful! How can Dahlia be so talented? She told me that you helped her create it? Uh, I just shared some insight with her. What about? She wanted to know what kind of essence to use to enchant the dagger. To craft a blade that has the highest affinity with you. Ooh, cool. So that's what she called this the Philosopher's Edge. I guess I'm more of a philosopher than an architect in the end, huh? You build thought shrines to literally lock yourself up inside to think. <laughs> That's true. It's so obvious when you look at it from the outside. Maybe I should stop calling myself an architect witch, huh? You literally build thought shrines to lock yourself up inside to think. True, true. So, first of all, do you mind if I summon a fate mancer's disc to check on our chances of success? Of course, but what's a fate mancer's disc? Ah, of course. It was invented about 80 years ago by Junresha, Junresha, the mathematician witch. Oh, mortal enemy of mine. <laughs> mathematician. Imagine making your whole entire life and personality and powers about math. Straight to jail. Crimes have been committed. So you wouldn't know about it. It's a special sigil that reads fate strands. When you find yourself before a critical and identifiable turning point in your life, you can bind your soul to the disc so it reads the probability of whatever you want to happen. Wow, I like it. Sounds like a great companion to my deck. In short, we can read how effective whatever actions we perform in the ritual will be. Knowing the percentage may not change anything, though. It's just for peace of mind. On the contrary, it sounds really useful. As per the third principle of divination, just the act of observing your chances affects your chances. Hmm, I didn't consider it that way. I hope it affects them for the best. <laughs> anyway, here's the disc. Oh, oh. Oh. My chances aren't as good as I'd hoped. It's no small thing, exercising a behemoth. But we haven't taken everything into account yet. Let's turn fate in our favor. You're right. I must be strong. First of all, I asked my friend Jasmine to provide us with some herbs to help ease your mind. With these, you should be able to focus better on the ritual. Smells good. You need to drink the infusion while you think of a toy you loved when you were a mortal child. Hmm. I sure loved my Legos. But my favorite thing was my Jake plushie from Adventure Time. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it sure worked on your face already. <laughs> I feel less tense. Yes. Look, the Fate Mancer's disc went up slightly. This is working. Good. Thank Jasmine for me. I think it'll be better if you thank her yourself. Sure, it'll be my pleasure. Okay then, can you run me through the specifics of the ritual? It's more straightforward than I thought it would be. Most of the heavy work has already been done by Dahlia, crafting this magnificent dagger. You need to insert the blade into my chest. Me? You need to try and leave one side of the blade facing my flesh and the other side <laughs> facing the behemoth. I've never stabbed anyone in my life. It's not so much stabbing as precision cooking. You do cook, right? Yeah, I know my way around kitchen knives, but this... I can't do it myself, Fortuna. I believe in you. Why don't we call Dahlia and have her cut you? No. I want you to do this. I feel a special connection to you. I... Look, the percentage on the disc went up just from me explaining this to you. We're on the right path. Dahlia told me that the ritual would be more effective the stronger our bond is. 
I pretty much opened up about myself to you in a way I haven't for ages. So I believe the shortcut to make our bond more powerful would be if you told me something intimate about yourself. The less people know about it, the better. Um, uh, okay. Tell me something secret about yourself. We already told her that. I think this is common knowledge. I don't want to talk about that. So I summoned a behemoth too. <laughs> Casual, cozy. Shut up. You're putting your life in my hands. So I guess it's only fair I do the same. Abramar, show yourself. Holy cosmos. How is this possible? No one knows about this. Not even my closest friends. Why do you have a behemoth? I don't have him. We're partners. We're only talking today because I summoned him. I couldn't endure my exile anymore. So I called upon him and we are working together to regain my freedom. Abramara is the one who taught me how to channel Akana to build my own deck. I owe him my life. That is, for lack of a better word, so cool. Fuck, it feels so good to say it out loud to another person. Thank you for your understanding. Are you kidding? I'm like the ideal audience for that kind of revelation. <laughs> Jokes aside, thank you for trusting me. I feel really fortunate. And this goes without saying, but you can rely on me. Now, we're sisters in the forbidden. The best kind of sister there is. Abermar, you can leave us now. No, don't! Don't, I need to get the name. <laughs> Understood. Time to put me under the knife? Ugh, I'm not ready yet. You will never be more ready than now. And I'm ready to accept any consequences. Uh, just let me meditate for a couple of minutes, just to gather my focus, okay? Two whole minutes? That I have, sure. Thank you. Moment of truth. Have you made a decision? Do you want to pay for the behemoth's name? Yes. Allow me to absorb your energy then. Mmm, delicious. Ah, the fragrance of conflict. Hereby, I release my sibling's name. Yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. Gay, gay, Therian. Gay Therian. He's gay. Thank you, Abramar. At your service. <laughs> I don't know, but we're just sitting in silence. You still there? Yes, I'm ready. I learned your behemoth's name. He's the gay one. Whoa, the Fate Mancer's disc went wild. How did you do that? I made a mantle pact with Abramar. I purchased your behemoth's name from him. Purchased? I hope you didn't put yourself at risk for me, Fortuna. Don't worry, it wasn't that expensive. I think. Thank you so much for going the extra mile for me. We sisters in the Forbidden must stand together, right? <laughs> You're right. Ready for some stabbing? Don't say it like that. Sorry, I was just trying to blow off some steam. Our ideas of what constitutes relaxing differ dramatically, Greta. <laughs> it looks like you're relaxed, though. I guess that's the most important thing here. Okay, I'm going to insert the dagger now. Are you ready? Do it. Ooh, big stabby. So, how do I look? We did it, Greta! Yeah, I know. You're the best, Fortuna. Thank you so much. Uh, I was so nervous. My heart was about to explode. Where's the behemoth now? We escaped. While you were pushing the dagger inside me, we had a very intense discussion that felt like it lasted eons. Finally, they... got scared of me? It's like you were fueling me with some energy larger than this universe. It felt so empowering. You're amazing, Fortuna. I'm so happy for you. What now? I'm going to make a round to share the good news. Especially with Dahlia. I owe her my life too. Yeah, she deserves more credit than anyone. I promise I'll come visit you again soon. I didn't only regain my freedom here. I also gained you. <laughs> I'm happy I met you too. Okay, take care. See you soon. Goodbye. Uh, bye bye. Oh. My god, I don't know how I would have handled myself if that would have failed. That was stressful. That was so that was so stressful. Oh my fucking god. Let me uh, have a little look see up here in the top corner. Oh, we need to work on that fire energy. Okay. I'm going to write that down real quick. Give me a second. Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. 
work on fire because that's what we need to do the next time i think we need to make a new card to build up some of that fire and maybe air because we are a little low on air but i think fire should be our main priority then we maybe can read another story and then we have a little spy friend over there which we can obviously talk to and i'm very excited for that but that is going to have to be for the next episode and with that being said i really really hope that you enjoy this i really hope that you are <laughs> proud of me for making the right decisions because i sure as fuck am other than that i just really hope that i will see you guys in the next one and until then i suggest you guys stay spooky people oh uh, goodbye Yeah.